Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Webb, and I'm trying a little bit of STEM in our learn from home environment. So um, I want to let you know that these would be some items that you would have been getting in your third rotation of STEM class. They're totally optional, but if you'd like to give them a shot, I would love to see what you're able to do. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead here through these expectations because you already know them, you've already seen them, and we're in the learn from home environment, so they don't apply to you as much right now. So getting through these, I'm going to kind of get you a little bit of a preview. So your sixth grade preview, what we're going to be accomplishing this rotation. Um, you're going to be doing something called an intro to Tinkercad. I know that's a funny name. Tinkercad means, um, Tinker means to build something or to work on something. And CAD, we're going to learn in just a second, means computer-aided design. And you're going to have modules or different lessons that you're going to be going through to do these computer-aided design um, activities. So computer-aided design, let's break that down. Computer, well, you're using one right now, so we know what that is. When we're aiding somebody, we are helping them. And we learn from STEM class that to design means to create or make something. So it's kind of backwards here. Um, Computer-aided design means to make things with the help of a computer. And that's what you're going to be doing um, in these modules. And then you're going to then use what you learned in these modules to form a business and try to come up with the next best toy design project. So the very first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to be able to sign in to Tinkercad. So I'm going to escape out of this presentation, and I'm going to go over to our Google Classroom here. Now, I know this says Mr. Bunce, but this is for any of my sixth grade classes because you're all going to be seeing the same thing. The first thing that you're going to see is a post that says, Welcome Virtually Back. What I have here, if you click on Mr. Webb's Zoom um, weekly schedule, when you open this up, this is going to give you a link. It's got a video that's kind of greeting you, welcoming you back. Um, and then you've got a link that's going to take you to my Zoom office hours. If you'll notice down on my schedule, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m., I'm going to be available for you. This is for you to pop in to talk about the Tinkercad portfolio. This could be talking about math or science or language arts or just popping in to see what's going on. Um, as you scroll down a little bit farther, I've got some information about what STEM is going to look like, and then I've got the links that you could um, use to do your learn from home activities um, for uh, your other classes as well. Uh, here's the video. If you didn't click to open this, you got the video link here as well. So to go back to our stream, I want you to go to the second post, which says Stephen Webb posted a new assignment, Tinkercad Practice Portfolio. As you click on this practice portfolio, it's going to show up a little bit different for you. You're going to go over to um, you're going to see something that looks a little bit more like this. So I've got some instructions for you here. It says if you're wanting to do some STEM, these are the items that you're going to need to complete your portfolio. The very first thing that you're going to need to do, it says please watch the Tinkercad practice intro video. That's going to show up here as well. It's not here right now. I'm recording it right now with you. So you'll see that after this video is done recording. Um, so I'd like you to click on the link that says Tinkercad. So that's going to open you up to a screen that looks something like this. In the upper right hand corner, you're going to go to the white button that says Join Now. As you click Join Now, you're going to go all the way down to the one that says Create Personal Account. And then you're going to click Sign In with Google because your school email is owned by Google. So it just works really easy if you click sign in with Google. What it's going to do is it's going to pull up a screen. It's going to give you an option to find your Google name. So I've got my school. I've got my personal. I'm going to choose my school. I've already signed up, so it's going to look, this step is going to be a little bit different. It's automatically going to sign me in. You're going to have to do one more thing where it asks you to accept that you're willing, um, you're going to have to accept the uh, the situation from Tinkercad, and then it's going to pull you up to your dashboard. Pull you up to your dashboard, but a um, little tutorial is going to pop up in the center of your screen. You can just click out of that tutorial because you're not going to need it right now. 
So these are some of the various things that you're going to be working on. This practice right here is specifically what we're going to be focusing on. When you look at your portfolio or your, um, this screen is going to look a little bit different because you will not have any items here because I've done lots of different projects. You haven't started a new design yet. So once you've signed in, I'd like you to go back to Google Classroom. You're always going to want to have three tabs pulled up when you do this portfolio. You're going to want to have your Google Classroom. That's going to give you your links. You're going to want to have Tinkercad pulled up because that's going to get you um, the ability to start your design. And then last but not least, you're going to want to pull up your Tinkercad portfolio. So what this portfolio is, is it's a slide presentation. And all the portfolio is, is a place where you can put your work. So you see that you have a slide called Snippet Practice. You have a slide called day one practice, day two practice, day three practice, and so on and so on. And so that's going to um, give you that ability to take a look at that portfolio and, um, and add some things on there, okay? So So, sorry about that. I just got a little sidetracked. Now, uh, first thing I'd like you to do is I'd like you to click and you're going to um, delete your name. You're going to delete your name there and you're going to type your name in. And then what you are going to do is I'd like you to go back to your dashboard. I'd like you to click the blue, your Tinkercad dashboard. I'd like you to click the blue button that says create new design. As you do that, it's going to open up a new screen for you. And you're going to see a workspace in front of you. This work plane is where you're going to be doing all of your assignments. Up at the top, you see it's got some weird name, the top left corner. You can click in there, you can delete it. And just type in Tinkercad Portfolio. As you type in Tinkercad Portfolio, that'll change your title. And then what I want you to do is I want you to pull in two boxes. And I just want you to leave those two boxes on your, um, on your work plane. Now, some things that I'd like to kind of show you what you can do. If you look over here on this cube, if you click around on this cube, it kind of takes you around and spins you to different places. If you click this home button, it will take you back to your original view. If you look at your boxes, these are kind of like manipulating a picture in Google Slides or Google Docs. If you pull this, it makes it bigger. If you pull this box, it can make it taller. Now, if I don't like what I've done, I click undo, undo, and take it back. Now, this little ice cream cone at the top of this box, if I click here, I've got this little ice cream cone. It's black arrow. When I hover over it, it turns red. If I click that, I can pull up or down on my workspace. And so that's how we lift up a shape. Last thing, if I click on the shape, I've also got the shapes um, attributes menu over here. These are all the things that you're going to need before you go to your final thing. So I'm going to go back to my screen and with these three tabs, your Google Classroom, your Tinkercad, and your Tinkercad portfolio pulled up, you are all ready to now scroll down and go down to Tinkercad Port Practice Portfolio Module 1. As you go in there, you're going to check out the snippet practice video first. That's going to give you the, the what you'll need to put into the snippet practice slide. And then you'll watch the Tinkercad Day 1 practice video. I would watch it, pause it, do a little bit. So watch a little bit, pause it, do a little bit. Watch a little bit, pause it, do a little bit. It will actually be very helpful if you um, also put on the closed caption words for yourself. And the day one practice is going to go on the slide that says day one practice. So if you need any help, like I said, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., I will be waiting for some students to pop in so I can give a little bit of help if needed, okay? So please remember when you pop in, I will have everybody muted, and then um, as we have questions, we can unmute and we can talk about what we need. I look forward to seeing what you guys are going to be working on and what you're going to be making throughout this time. Talk to you guys later.